Whoa, it's the illusion. Reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm down here at Zuma Beach. Today started out extremely gnarly, heavy, like heavy, heavy, gnarly family type heaviness. And it's just so gnarly life, man. And it's just amazing what you have to do to like keep your uh, vibrational frequency elevated, you know? It's not easy. Today, today is, is a day where I would say that hanging on by a thin thread. But it's not like a downer thing, it's just, I don't know, due to, due to the fact of like all the, uh, the actual participation I do in my kind of uh, group of people I run with, you know, being an alcoholic and a drug addict, you know, I go seek, I go to like seek help daily. And it's because of that daily help or daily reprieve, if you will, that I'm able to pretty much deal with like a day like today in stride, I mean, let, let's be clear, man, it didn't, you know, it didn't start out puppy dogs and rainbows, and it's not really puppy dogs and rainbows now, but I was able to go and have a pretty serious conversation with the family member, and I think find some sort of, like, solution within that conversation. Oh, look at that, there's a nug. Huh. And, uh, I don't know, man. It's all so gnarly. All I know is, is that we really need to be, like, spiritually fit at this time. There's a lot of, like, chaos going on around us. A lot of people that, for lack of a better word, are asleep. And it's not even their fault, man. I was tripping on, out on, I don't know, man. You start tripping out on all the, like aspartame people are drinking and the bisphenol A and the plastic and the flicker rates on the TVs and the fluoride in the drinking water and the GMO food and the just utter attack upon our pineal gland and our ability to like not be dense molecularly. It's just so heavy, man. And you just realize how trapped everyone is in this matrix, man. And what a monumental feat it is to, like, wake up and attempt to, like, free yourself from the bondage of your own mind. I mean, that's the weird thing. The conversation I had this morning involved that, like, externalizing the problems, you'll never, you'll never fix them until you realize that the problem is within your own head, that you've... You've chosen the problem, not by even choice, but by like manipulation. You've chosen to live as a problem within the problem. And as I'm explaining this, I'm realizing that this problem that I'm experiencing in the morning is, is my choice to either internalize or externalize. Like it wasn't, I had to look and see what my role was and why I was there and what I need to do to correct the energy field that's around me. And, you know, there, is, there are no victims. That's the one thing I know, is there are no victims in this story. What's up, Hey, Frank, how's it going? Good, how's it going with you? Very good. Good to see you. Carpentry? Carpentry, selling art. You want to buy a piece of art? Come on. <laughs> Where's he gonna put it? He cleaned it all out, huh? Really? Yeah. What do you do with all the stuff? I think he put it inside his truck. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met his wife? Not yet. Beautiful girl. Really? Twenty-four. Wow. She's like years Crazy. Good for him. There you go. Conversations by the beach here. So where was I? Yeah, you can't, 
you can't externalize any of your problems. They're all internal, man. It's all your contact or lack of contact with the source, you know? It was funny, you know, I started bringing up like God and stuff this morning and you can just see people's knee-jerk reaction because they think that, that God is this religious paradigm when like God is everything, man. How can like it be some sort of religion? It's just the greatest con job ever. And you tie that in with all the poisoned food and the flicker rates of the televisions and and the whole thing, you wonder why people are depressed and bummed out because dude, you could have all the money in the world that's still not going to solve the problem, right? And so, you know, we had a pretty serious talk about, first of all, admitting that there is a problem. And secondly, admitting that you cannot solve any of these problems in life alone that you need to ask for help. Whatever your problem is, you have to ask for help. And to think that you don't have a problem, like my, this is my like take on it. If you're not happy, joyous, and free in a state of bliss, you got problems, man. Because none of us are the Buddha, or Jesus, or whatever spiritually enlightened being that you choose to be your focal point. The fact is that we all have problems and if we don't ask for help from people who have similar problems to us who've been through what we've been through, we will remain forever in that problem. And we must break free of the problems in order to be of service to the people that have the problems, right? Like, we need to reach out for help for, to up there for someone so that we can pick up someone down there. We have to become part of the human chain of enlightenment of salvation, of whatever word you want to choose that signifies us breaking free of the bondage of this 3D landscape that, that we call life or reality or the body or whatever it is. This is all a fucking scam and I know it, but it's hard. It's gnarly work. It's gnarly work, people. Anyway, looks like I probably should go out and go surfing. Because uh, life's about enjoying it too, especially after you've done some pretty heavy duty. <sighs> anyway, I hope you all your dreams are going good out there. <laughs>